So, yeah, this is the first time I'm, like, revisiting this stuff, eh? Um, it's a 26... It's a 26 track album or is it yeah 20 25 25 songs on this album some of the tracks are um like interludes and stuff but um it's such an animal this album it's such a giant thing that i'm i'm almost finished with but it the finishing of these a, a thing like this is really a difficult thing to do because it's like i've got to know when to stop and I do, uh, when I say when to stop, when to finish a song, you know, because you could keep producing a song for forever. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm basically going through the tracks that I um, still need to kind of complete. And uh, I'd love to actually just yeah, open one up now. Um, let's open this one. It's called Lifeline. I started this album, well I guess you could say, that, well the, the, the oldest song on this album is 10 years old. Sure. Yeah. But I, I physically started working on songs for the album about four years ago, four, three, three to four years ago. And uh, since then I've been through a lot and that's kind of what this album, when I say I've been through a lot uh, in good good way and, and you know like it and a lifetime adventure kind of thing and of good and bad and and amazing and uh lessons learned and everything and that's what this album is it's really it's it's me traveling through time through life and learning and uh, kind of going through all these beautiful adventures that uh make up this city of God in the jungle below. That's what that one is. Okay. So let's open Why do we try on my mind? It's a real heartfelt it's it's a, a real it's just raw it's real and i want to keep it that way so there's like a few more things i just wanted to touch up on these vocals this fabric die okay we need to record that second verse let's jump into it <laughs> beware time you know me being in the studio is just it's like I'm so used to it now but it's it is a, a it's a quiet time for me because there's I don't work with anyone like I literally I work with me and I engineer myself I record myself I produce myself and I thank myself <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually jumping back into these songs it's just like I'm so kind of attached to them, but at the same time, I'm like, I've reached a point where it's like, they're sitting here and they're just waiting to be heard. But I almost, I just want to hold them just a little bit longer, you know, before I release them. But it's, come on, I just need to like release them now, you know. The last time these vocal, these vocals were recorded literally two years ago. So I'm, I'm now adding my voice, which is possibly, well, not really changed, but you know, I've, and that's the, the beauty of the song and this album is like it's got like these it's like a time like there's time gaps and and then you can you can hear me i recorded certain songs when i was like going through a heartbreak like a heartbreak sort of phase and then you can hear the songs when i've met my real true love of my life and there's like this new kind of strength in my voice it's amazing it's really amazing so that is that right now you know And I literally learned how to operate this backwards because that's uh, that's how we roll. Let's test it. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's make it a little higher. Ooh. 
Where do you go in your mind? In your mind. It's so easy to get. I just realized now, like I haven't. I wrote this song a while ago, but it's so easy to get into it, into the space of of recording it because it's like. I just think of uh, the woman I love, and I, like it just. I know it might sound cheesy, but it just takes me, just. Uh, to a place that I'm in right now, but it just takes me to her, and I, I, it just, yeah, it's stupid, you know. It just works. Beautiful. And then it needs one more chorus, and the final chorus is like this ending that goes. It's like, because because the first two choruses are like questioning love or questioning the love you know what if it's a or not questioning the love but questioning you know what happens if the love ends and then it's like but even if it did end it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a waste of time kind of thing um but and and even like because like doesn't matter about the future because right like i'll walk the tight rope till the end of time kind of thing because you're my lifeline but then right at the end it says it's it's like this breakthrough like sureness saying it's never going to be a waste of time this paradise it's never going to be a lonely ride for you and i because we'll walk the tight rope till the end of time together kind of thing yeah so cheese that's actually quite yeah it's beautiful huh? yeah. haven't thought about it for a while actually yeah that's a beautiful see I was playing against the time because it was like okay let's see it's never gonna be a waste of time things I want to tweak and then it'll be perfect. Cool. Oh, yeah, that was a day, eh? Wow. I worked on about four songs and, uh, and now let's go and reflect. <laughs> That's Cruz's sand pit. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow. This place is like, look at that view there. It's like reminds me, I, I was once, um, obviously we in Joburg, South Africa. <laughs> I was once, um, I was in the pool here and I took a bit of a video and then I posted it up. And I said that, uh, what did I say? I said, it's good to be back in, in the Hollywood Hills. It's good to be back in LA. And then numerous people said, like believed it and said, wow, take me with you or wherever you are kind of thing. And like, 
that's why I love this place because it's my little it's, it's kind of my little house in the hills kind of thing and it's like a it, it really inspires me um, obviously starting a family here as well and it's like a it's really my my place of just like like place of my dream coming true kind of thing and to be able to create here at the same time is like heaven it really is it's like a it's just a, a, a place of like um, perfect like inspiration and I look out the window and see the view and I kind of think of how far I've come in my career as well as my life and it's just a yeah it's a beautiful just a beautiful thing you know um, and I'm kind of nearing the end of the creation process of my album um, but at the same time kind of um, you know working on <laughs> millions of other projects and and producing numerous other artists and people and um, well artists and uh, people that are artists <laughs> and uh, yeah but it's 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 just incredible to 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 sometimes just stop and you know plant your feet and just look look back and think you know wow you know it's been a it's been a whirlwind but it's 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 been a lovely career so far and it's been a lovely journey and yeah and that's what you know lifeline the song it's yeah i mean it's a tiny part of this massive album but it's it's really a cool it's just a beautiful piece or or, or sort of part of the painting um which obviously is about my the beautiful relationship I have uh, with the love of my life, and yeah, it's just a, a you know she's my lifeline as well. So that's kind of what it is as well. Um, yeah, what's an aspherical lens? <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good question. Uh, well, um, we'll get into that another time. Yeah, yeah. that'll be your next video <laughs> tutorial on, on what it. Yeah. Lenses. yeah. <laughs> Freaking cold, eh? Yes. We go inside. Yeah. <laughs>